Hi everyone, welcome back to the series of data interpretation. So today we are going to discuss about tabular graph. Already we have made three videos of uh, data interpretation covering pie charts, line graph and bar graph. If you have not watched those videos, please go through that once before coming for tabular graphs. So today we will discuss about tabular graph. Before going to solve the questions, let us try to analyze the data. Here what was the conditions given here? The following table shows the sales of cars of different models by a company during the year 2013 to 2017. So we have to, from 2013 to 2017, there are five years given and these are the models of cars. Okay, car A, I mean model A, model B, model C, D and E and these are the sales of the uh, cars of that particular model. And here we have, uh, give, uh, they have given that the grand total of the sales. Okay, now let us try to analyze the question. Here, what was the first question? During the given period, the car model that has registered highest growth percentage in sales is. Means here they are asking about in the given period from 2013 to 2017, which car model has registered the highest growth percentage. Now, if you observe, okay, let me, let me zoom in this. Okay. Now, if you observe this car model, okay, if you observe the data here from 2013 to 2017, Okay, which car model has registered the highest growth percentage? Now, I am considering model A. If I consider model A, okay, initially model A, okay, at the time of starting uh, 2013, the sales are 88. Now, at the end 2017, the sales are 212. Just to take an approximate value, do no need to calculate that exact percentage of growth. Okay, to compare that in the particular years. So, uh, you just need to take approximate values. It's, it has started at 88 and ended at 212. What will be the difference here? If you observe 88 two times, 88 two times is it's uh, approximately like 176, right? So, sorry, like uh, some, something it will be like more than double, slightly more than double. Now, here the car model B, 166, here 194. It is just not even a double, double the value. Initially, it started with 166. Finally, it is 194. Now, it has started at 211 and ended at 130. Here, there is no percentage growth. It, uh, the, uh, I mean, the sales got dropped, right, for model C. And when you compare with model D, it has started with 44 and ended with 164. How much? Okay, it is almost four times of the initial value, right? 44, four times. I mean, approximately I am taking. So, 44, it is almost four times of that. Initially, this is slightly greater than double of the value of 88. Now, even if you consider 255 on 305, it is not even a double the value. So, out of which, just comparing a normal values, I can clearly say that which option is correct is car D, I mean, sales D. So, we can say that option, okay, option 3, okay, whatever option 3, I mean, model D car has the highest growth rate because it has started with 44 and ended with 164 sales, means how much percentage more, almost like 4 times, okay, nearest to the 4 times of the initial value, no other car model we have that, uh, that much growth in that particular given years, I mean from 2013 to 2017. Let us go with the second question. What is the second question? If you observe, the year in which cars of model D registered highest growth percentage in the sales over the previous years is. Again the same, okay, same, same question like almost like uh, uh, comparing, okay, the here, but they are asking about in which year model D cars, okay, in which year model D cars registered highest growth in the sales over the previous years. They are only talking about model D. Okay, let us only check the sales of model D out of all the years from 2013 to 2017. Let us say model D cars at 2013 sales is 44. Now 2014 sales is 65. What is the difference? How much sales got increased? It is just approximately 21 can I say? It is only just increased by 21 comparatively with the previous years. If you observe here, over the previous year means we need to compare with previous year, which year model D cars has shown the highest growth rate, right? Now, here if you observe initially it is 44, 
next year it is 65 difference is only 21 21 sales got increased now if you compare uh, this 65 with 102 means 2015 okay 2015 sales is 102 comparing with 2014 sales 65 it is approximately it is approximately just only 40 okay approximately 40 i'm taking approximate value here approximately 21 here approximately 40 okay now from 102 to 207 okay means here i am considering 2016 2016 sales is 207 uh, in the past year okay it is just only 102 how many got increased 100 almost 100 so if you observe initially it is just only 20 here it is approximately 40 here it is approximately 100 okay if you count it actually okay actual difference it is 105 right now what's the difference here it is not getting increased okay we cannot consider 2017 because from 2016 to 2017 sales got dropped okay it is not getting increased so i can clearly say that from the given tabular data okay i can clearly uh, uh, say that 2000 sorry 207 is the sales we have in 2016 comparatively with 2015 so i can say that 2016 has registered okay as highest growth rate comparatively with the previous years of model d cars okay they are talking about only model d that's the reason i'm considering only model d okay so not all data interpretation questions can be solved with a lot of calculations and formulas there are few questions that you may get it in that exam uh, just by analyzing data just by interpreting data mostly you can solve uh, questions okay by just understanding okay the data clearly okay hope you all are clear so let's move on to the next one okay here we have a third question okay what's the third question in the year 2016 what is the approximate percentage of sales of cars of type c in the total number of cars sold in that particular year they're talking about only in 2016 okay let me erase this okay they're talking about only in 2016 okay what is the approximate percentage of sales of cars of type c means type c okay to the total number of cars sold in that particular year they are talking about percentage so first when they are talking about percentage okay how much percent okay is the model um, i mean cars of type c type c is 138 to over the total number of cars they have given total number of cars in that particular year in the particular 2016 what is the total number of cars we have here 785 right 785 into 100 because they are talking about percentage right now let's try to cancel this particular value 138 okay we have 138 138 five times is okay uh, 690 so 138 five times is 690 but here we want 785 so 138 six times if you consider 48 six threes 18 22 828 right but if you observe this value is in between in between the range of if i want to cancel 138 once this is okay in between okay if it is 138 five times is 690 138 six times is 800 something okay now this is in the range of 138 five times and 138 six times okay we are not so sure you will get answer in terms of decimal but if you observe the options here all options are almost close 16 16.5 17 17.6 like how to solve these type of questions in the exam mostly if you have a calculator on the screen you can use the calculator but what if if you don't have calculator on the screen so we just need to go with an approximate value sometimes you just need to understand the logic as well so i can say that this value is in between either it may be 1 by 5 okay or in between 1 1 by 5 to 1 by 6 well, it is not exactly uh, integer value so what is 1 by 5 20 percent okay what is 1 by 6 16.66 percent my answer should be in terms of i mean in the range of okay 
20 to 16.66 it should be greater than 16.66 and less than 20 which how many options are there we have okay greater than 16.66 and less than 20 so if it is greater than 16.66 my answer cannot be 16 and it is greater than 16.66 because it is 1 by 6 means 16.66 so my answer is not a and b and there are two options which is having okay uh, more than 16.662 in the range of 20 percent we have two options okay my answer can be either 17 or 17.6 but i can clearly say that okay option 3 17 can be eliminated do you know why because here we are getting decimal value we all are pretty much sure that okay this value will not exactly gets cancelled right so obviously when it is not getting cancelled how can you get integer value obviously our answer will be in terms of decimal i can say that 17.6 will be your answer so whenever you don't have any calculations no need to struggle uh, calculating these values in the exam at least you should know some percentage and fraction conversions so that you can go with some approximate values i hope you all are clear with this third question let's go with fourth one okay what's the fourth question actually okay let's go with fourth one the year in which the company registered highest growth percentage in the total sales of cars over its previous years they're talking about uh, total cars okay they're talking about total cars okay now we have to compare total cars here okay if you observe this we have to consider okay the year in which the company registered highest growth percentage in the total sales of cars over its previous years now if you observe uh, this uh, initially it is 764 i mean 2013 total sales of the car is 764 2014 it got it is just only 734 is that increased or decreased the sales got dropped right for the next year so we should not consider 2014 is my answer now if you consider 2015 2014 to 2015 it got increased but how many got increased just observe the difference here 734 775 it is approximately 41 right so it is just only 41 got increased from this year to 785 how many got increased just only 10 sales got increased from over the previous year now from this year to this year how many got increased almost approximate to 290 okay almost approximate to almost if you observe seven uh i mean so sorry it is not 290 it is approximately 200 something 200 change but out of all the values we have when you compare here we can see the highest highest growth or uh, in the total number of cars of all the particular years when you compare with the previous years so i can clearly say that 2017 has registered okay the highest growth of the sales comparatively with previous year i can say that 2017 have the highest growth rate okay now let's move on to the fifth one what fifth question says here find the approximate find the approximate percentage increase in the sales of cars of model a and d put together in the year 2016 or the year 2013 is okay i hope like you uh, understood the concept of percentage increase and percentage decrease let's consider okay here all all cars a and d put together okay let's let's take an example here the per approximate percentage increase in the sales of cars of model a and d so we should consider model a and model d put together okay so in the year 2016 or the year 2013 so if you put all the cars from a and d in 2016 okay how many cars we have here okay 175 in a and uh, 207 okay 207 in d if you add these cars okay this is a and this is d okay for the year 2016 for the year 2016 so 175 plus 207 so what's the total here two seven eight three eighty two right three eighty two now if the same values if you put together for 2013 for 2013 
car A plus car D values. How much it is? 88 plus 44. Right? 88 plus 44. It is 132. Now, what they are asking is, when you add up all the values of, uh, I mean, sales of A and D in 2013 and 2016, how much percentage of the cars of 2016 more comparatively with 2013? Percentage increase they are talking about. So, initially it is 132. Here it is 382. So, what you need to do is 382 minus 132. If you remove that, so here how much the value is? 215. So, if they ask you how many sales of the cars increase when you put together A and D, my answer will be 250. But they are not asking us uh, to find the sales, uh, how many sales got increased. They are asking us to find. So, how much percentage of the sales got increased? So, here how many got increased? 250. From which value it is getting increased? So, from which value it is getting increased? From 132 to 382. So, we should consider always uh, in the denominator from which value it is getting increased. Into 100 will give you answer. So, I hope you understood the logic here what we have uh, written. So, find out this answer and post your answers in the comment box. Okay, that's it guys. This is how uh, we have to solve uh, questions from tabular charts. Almost we cover four different models from data interpretation. Again, these four are very, very important. Even like when you go for any placement, right? mostly like you can expect minimum uh, one question uh, for TCS NQT exam from data interpretation, either from pie chart or bar graph or line graph or tabular graph. If you have not watched, again, just go through that videos once. Okay, and uh, I, as I said, post uh, your answers in the comment box. Okay, thank you.